President Trump is going to make a determination what he thinks is great for the country and what's fair for the country. And again, Christians get out and vote just this time. You won't have to do it anymore. Four more years. You know what? It'll be fixed. It'll be fine. You won't have to vote anymore, my beautiful Christians. I love you, Christians. I'm a Christian. I love you. Get out. You got to get out and vote. In four years, you don't have to vote again. We'll have it fixed so good you're not going to have to vote. The former president of the United States and current Republican candidate for president in 2024 now explicitly calling for the termination of all rules, regulations, and articles in the Constitution. Donald Trump sharing that message on his social media platform this weekend as he continues to relitigate his 2020 presidential loss with bogus claims and conspiracies. Newsy White House correspondent Kellen Howell joins us now from the nation's capital. And Kellen, Trump is making these comments not long after announcing his bid for the White House. That's right, Jay. And ever since uh, announcing that bid, this has become something of a theme where Republican lawmakers are finding themselves under a magnifying glass in the in the wake of the latest scandal involving comments that their party's current front runner for the 2024 uh, GOP nomination has made. Today, several Republican lawmakers facing questions over whether or not they could support a presidential candidate who is now openly calling for the U.S. Constitution to be torn up. Some Republican lawmakers on Sunday sharply criticized former President Donald Trump over his social media post calling for the U.S. Constitution to be terminated. First of all, I vehemently disagree with, uh, with the statement that, that Trump has made. On Saturday, the former president falsely claimed in a post on Truth Social that big tech companies and the Democratic National Committee committed massive fraud in the 2020 election and called for the termination of the Constitution in order to overturn the election result. But Mayor who says, quote, when he uses his official powers in any way, under the majority's reasoning, he will now be insulated from criminal prosecution orders a Navy SEALs team six to assassinate a political rival, immune. Organizes a military coup to hold on to power, immune. The relationship between the president and the people he serves has shifted irrevocably. In every use of official power, the president is now a king above the law. Hmm. And I want to read that one because I feel like it really